my fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Akiba Ranger 10th Anniversary set from Bandai. Now this was a premium Bandai item and it's kind of unique in the way that it's actually got two different Sentai gimmicks in it. It is a mixture of Ranger keys and Sentai gears. Uh, really nice artwork here on the front. I really love this close-up picture of Akiba Red. Over here on this side we get five Sentai gears, although there actually are six in the box. And then we have five Ranger keys over here on this side. Uh, up top just says Akiba Ranger 10th Anniversary Set with a picture of the Sentai gear. And then you have this kind of nice rainbow logo for Akiba Ranger down here on the bottom. If we spin it around to the back, you get this really fantastic picture of the team. I love this. You have that kind of rainbow going through the back there. Really, really fun. I like that quite a bit. Now, the thing that I think is interesting, if you check the contents over here, it says Sentai Gear 1, Sentai Gear 5, Ranger Key 5. Uh, now, one of them is definitely unique from the other five, and I'll point that out in a moment, but I think it's interesting that they don't change like the differentiation here. They both just say Sentai Gear, which I thought was interesting. So, really fun, colorful packaging. I like this quite a bit, but let's go ahead and get everything out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. So here are our five Ranger Keys and six Sentai Gears that we get in this set. They all look really, really nice. We'll start in the front here with the Sentai Gears. So here is kind of the official Akiba Ranger Sentai gear. You can see that it's done in the traditional style where it has this section raised up, really has the nice chrome, has Akiba Red right on there, and then you have the Akiba Ranger symbol here on the back. But to compare it to, say, the Akiba Yellow gear, you can see that this is actually just a sticker. So only this one is done in the traditional style where it's actually raised up and has like the chrome on the piece. Whereas this is just kind of a really nice chrome sticker. It still looks nice. Um, honestly, I feel like I didn't need individual Sentai Gears for the entire team and for both seasons. Uh, and they're nice to have, and I guess it adds value to the set. I feel like they wanted to pad it out a little bit. But I honestly would have been okay with just the five Ranger Keys and then just this one. Because they're all going to make the exact same sounds uh, in the Gear Tlinger. You can see that the... Uh, like the way the gears go around the side are exactly the same so they are going to all make the exact same sound but like I said it adds a little bit of value and kind of pads out the set but I don't know that I necessarily needed individual Sentai gears for everyone but they do look nice and the stickers work pretty well so we will compare here are the two Akiba yellow gears this is for season one this is for season two and you can see the kind of the subtle differences in their costumes are reflected there so that looks pretty good. Here are the two for Akiba Red. So again, this is the kind of official uh, gear, and then this is just the sticker. I keep saying official. They're all official, but I should say traditional, and then this one is just a sticker. And then you can see they have different symbols for Season 1 and Season 2. And then we have the two Akiba Blue gears. And they all look really nice. I just, like I said, I don't know if I personally needed six different gears, but they're nice to have. This is the one that I'm most excited about. So I'm going to put all these off to the side for the moment, and we are going to focus in on the Ranger Keys, because I feel like this is where the set really shines. So these look really, really good. I think they look absolutely fantastic. I do think it's interesting that they gave us six uh, individual Sentai gears, but only five <laughs> Ranger Keys. But here is our Ranger Key for Akiba Red. Really looks sharp. You can see all of the fantastic paint applications. The helmet looks absolutely beautiful. If we go ahead and pop the hands up, we can use the button over here for the spring activated gimmick to flip that up. And then you have a sticker underneath here for Akiba Ranger. So these are still stickers, but everything else is painted. Really looks sharp there. Next up, we have our Season 1 Akiba Yellow. Looks very nice. And then we will round out the first season with the first season version of Akiba Blue. Nice metallic paint here on the chests. And then everything else is just really sharp looking paint. Really looks nice have the two uh, ponytails there. And then of course we also get, uh, please stand, 
we get season two version of Akiba Yellow with the different hairstyle there. Now these are all going to be the same key, so they're all going to make the same sound in the Memorial Mobirates. But they do actually fit in the Memorial Mobirates, which is very cool. I know they did a set a while ago that were like supposed to be unofficial and they didn't actually work with the Mobirates. These actually will, so that's kind of neat. So really nice looking keys. I think they did a fantastic job with these. Let's go ahead and bring in the Memorial Mobirates. One thing I did want to point out quick before we get started, even though they're all going to make the same sounds in the Memorial Mobirates, they are cut differently. You can see how the keys are cut. So if you would use them in, say, for example, the Gokai Saber, it will still know what color they are and it will do the correct color in the Gokai Saber. I don't have the original Gokai Saber, so it's not really something I can demonstrate. I'm hoping the new Memorial one that they're putting out soon will have that same feature. So maybe I'll bring some of these back when I get to reviewing that. But I did want to point that out. You can see that uh, they are cut a little different. And that's so that things like the Gokai Saber can still know what color they are, which is really cool. So let's go ahead, pop this open here. And even though they do all the same sounds, we'll go ahead and we'll do at least the whole first season team. All right, let's move on to the Sentai gear now.
And just to prove the point that the other ones do all make the exact same sounds, I'm going to do one of the sticker ones here. So we can try this in the Gear Toe Jinger as well. We can, of course, use it in the Dawn Blaster as well. Next up, we'll try it in the Tigardra. So unfortunately, there's no unique sound there. It just says Legend Sentai. I think this is a really fun set. I mean, aesthetically, everything looks phenomenal, especially the Ranger keys. They did such a good job with these. Paint applications look great, even have a little bit of metallic paint on there. Everything just looks really sharp. I love the auto flip gimmick. These are absolutely fantastic. I like the gears as well, 
but five out of the six of them are just stickers. And I have to admit, they're pretty good stickers. Honestly, if you had them on a shelf like this from across the room, you probably wouldn't immediately be able to tell. But I also just don't feel like I needed all six gears, personally. I would have been fine with just the one Sentai gear. And I do appreciate that they gave us one to kind of be the official Sentai gear that has the raised plastic and the gold chrome and everything. And I think that looks really sharp. And again, the stickers do look good, but I personally just didn't need six Sentai Gears. At least with the keys, when they all make the same sound, they're very aesthetically different. And I like having them on a shelf, and I think that all looks really good together. The gears, you know, maybe you put them in a bin, or if you display them like this, they're just not as aesthetically different. So I feel like I would have been okay with just one. Again, that's just me personally. If you love all six, I get it. They do look nice, and it is kind of nice to have all three from both seasons, and that's kind of cool. It's also kind of weird why we only got uh, five keys, but we got six gears. I still think that's a little weird. But again, everything in this set is nice, and they do have a decent amount of functionality, even with all of the keys making the same sound and all of the gears making the same sound. You can use those gears in so many different changers. I think that's really, really cool. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a sound for the Tigardra, but that's fine. I think that makes sense. Uh, but the other three, absolutely fantastic. You can even bring in the Zangla sword. That's really great. So there's a lot to do with this set, and I think it looks fantastic. It has some great functionality. I definitely recommend checking it out. Now, like I said, it was a premium Bandai release, so if you didn't pick it up, I would definitely go for your like secondary market sites, Mandarake, Yahoo Japan Auctions, something like that. But if you're in the market for Ranger Keys, or if you've been collecting all the Ranger Keys uh, up to this point, I definitely think this is a nice set to add to your collection. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.